The longer I live in this cockeyed world, the plainer I can see the truth of that old saying, what fools we mortals be. They say we're all getting smarter, but I'm afraid I can't agree. Because here's just a few of the things we do that don't make sense to me. You send your boy to a high-toned school and spend a lot of dough for a musical education with Professor So-and-So. Now, you just know he was born for the opera, but, brother, wasn't you wrong? Because he winds up with a ten-gallon hat singing a hillbilly song. You drive all day to attend a sale, and the auctioneer starts to spiel, and you outbid the other guy. Boy, how proud you feel. You buy the thing for two and a half, and you drive back home, and then you find they've got the same darn thing right in the five and ten. Now the Joneses buy a brand new car, and the Smiths say, huh, pull on a fast one. So what do they do but buy one too, though they ain't done paying for the last one. Now they both know the other one's broke, and somebody's bound to sue them. And the kids won't get so much to eat, but they can't let the Joneses outdo them. You send your daughter to college, and a great career you plan. Then just before graduation, she meets that nice young man. She winds up in his kitchen. A brilliant girl, that's true. But Latin and Greek don't help her a bit to make a good Irish stew. Doctors and nurses rush around and work with all their might to save the life of a bandit who got shot up in a fight. They patch him up and get him well after slaving night and day. And then two weeks later, they hang the guy. Kind of wasted effort, I'd say. Now, the Indians had the right idea. A system without any flaws. No income tax and no rent to pay, and the work was done by the squaws. Never a thing to worry about. Just eat and sleep and get fat. And the poor dumb white man thought that he could improve on a system like that.